is welcome to machine versus mathematics channel in this lecture i will try to uh, uh, define or i will try to find out the jet transformation of this uh, infinite duration causal sequence and also infinite duration anti causal sequence now from this what we assume is this let us assume a is less than 1 okay uh, a is less than 1 so we will take some say a is equal to half uh, say a is equal to half okay so therefore so let's try to plot this if I try to plot this uh, infinite duration causal sequence now this is a power n u of n so its mathematical definition is as follows x of n is equal to a to the power of n for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0 why right? since u of n so if you try to plot this uh, u of n let me plot this uh, step sequence so u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and u of n equal to 0 for n less than 0 all right so this is what you have so as we are multiplying a power n by u of n so we will have a signal whose life is towards right side okay so this is n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 so on now at n equal to 0 so a power 0 is 1 so a power 0 is 1 now when a is equal to half at n equal to 1 1 by 2 power 1 is half so this is half now this is uh, 1 by 4 this is 1 by 8 and so on yeah so therefore if you take the sum of all the sample values you would see you will get a finite value or this series or this sequence will converge okay so definitely you can find jet transform the beauty of jet transform is that though a power n u of n if a power n u of n doesn't converge, even then we can find jet transform by clever choice of, you know, by clever choice of the magnitude of z. Yeah. See, DTFT of this sequence, if a is greater than 1, you cannot find. For God's sake, you cannot find. But the same, but the same divergent sequence jet transform we can find by proper choice of magnitude of z on complex plane anyways we have that lecture that detailed lecture why do we go for jet transformation yeah that lecture we have uh, in this course so you will understand everything in that lecture for now take it as granted you have for a less than one you have a sequence like this okay so therefore this sequence has life only in the right hand side so otherwise we can say this is a right sided sequence or this is a causal sequence of infinite duration yeah for n n may go up to infinity okay so anyways now the basic definition of uh, jet transform is as follows for example let me take like this the basic definition say x of n x of the jet transformation of discrete time sequence is x of z so this fact we are familiar with now that means jet transformation of x of n is x of uh, z or x of z so this is you have x of n you and you have a kernel or jet power minus n and is equal to minus infinite to plus infinity see uh, this uh, summation or this infinite power series this is a more general form okay than uh, infinite power series for DTFT so anyways we have this lecture in detail you will understand things <coughs> okay so now uh, we have this now let us try to uh, use this in this form that means now judge transformation of our actual x of n that is a power n u of n okay so this one is what now you have in place of x of n we have a power n u of n z power minus n 
n is running from minus infinite to plus infinite now this stuff function will try to always sacrifice for the limits now because of this as we have step function is defined for positive uh, you know u of n is equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 so therefore what we can uh, make is that we can restrict this lower limit to 0 yeah so this fellow will die to make this limit n equal to 0 to infinity so so now we have jet transformation of x of n so jet transformation of x of n we have n equal to 0 to infinity a power n now it is jet power minus n all right <clears throat> so this fellow uh, this fellow will die to make this limit 0 so i don't have any more this u of n here all right so now uh, this one this compact form is this n equal to 0 to infinity now we can take a multiplied by z power minus 1 whole power n all right so we have this now this power series so this power series will convert if a into z power minus 1 is less than 1 yes or not so this power series will convert so this power series i write here so this power series uh, will convert if this a z power minus one i'll take in modulus okay less than one or or we can write like this modulus of a over modulus of z is less than one or this is modulus of z greater than modulus of a and this is what yeah this is reason of convergence okay so anyways <coughs> this power series will convert will convert to what value i mean to what form this power series will converge to this form 1 over 1 minus a multiplied by z power minus 1 if this modulus of a z inverse less than 1 or modulus of z greater than modulus of a yeah so then we get this now the same thing as of now what we have x of z equal to we have 1 over 1 minus a z power minus 1 this is also we can also write this one as z over z minus a okay uh, provided roc is what modulus of z or modulus of z greater than a okay so anyways we will go for roc in in the latter stage but for now we will try to appreciate this compact form this closed form x of z or x of z all right now say uh, let's for now we'll forget about this uh, these things as of now we have this compact form so designate this one as some one or equation one or form one okay then we'll go for let me take my next slide okay now uh, second signal what we have uh, second signal we have as x of n say we have x of n is equal to minus a power n minus a power n u minus n minus 1 okay so if you try to plot this again for same a less than 1 we assumed a as some less than 1 if you try to plot this uh, sequence so you would get something like this this is my x of n so now this is say minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 so on and this is 0 this is 1 2 3 so on so there is no life for the sequence towards right hand side now if you if you try to draw it out so you would get a sequence towards left hand side now now you see this is u of minus n minus 1 okay so you will get like this so this is uh, like minus one yeah minus half so on so your uh, 
your sequence will turn up like this okay so you see from minus infinite to minus one you have life and from here to here there is no life on this side there is no life and there is life like this or this is left hand side sequence okay or this is left handed sequence or so therefore this is anti causal now for this case if i try to find its z transformation let me try to find out uh, the z transformation for this so uh, z transformation of x of n so z transformation of x of n is i'll take now n is equal to minus infinite to plus infinity now x of n equal to this stuff so you plug in minus a power n u minus n minus 1 multiplied by z power minus n so this is basic definition right so z power minus 1 we have now i can bring this uh, minus outside the summation so you have n equal to now minus infinite to plus infinite a power n u minus n minus 1 multiplied by z power minus n all right so uh, this is equal to what again this uh, this fellow will try to uh, make things like this see now what do we have from this now from this we could understand that this sequence is having life from minus infinite to minus 1 yes or not this sequence this sequence is having life from minus infinite to minus 1 so therefore happily we can change the limits happily we can change the limits minus infinite to plus infinity uh, this fellow will sacrifice for the limits as we know that fact very well so therefore we have this negative sign you take this negative sign again i'll put this as minus infinity and now this fellow becomes minus one because the life of this sequence is from minus infinite to minus one from zero to this positive infinity there is no life okay as it is anti-causal so left-sided sequence now we can remove this u of minus and minus one because of this fellow limits got changed like this then remove that fellow so now you have a power n uh, z power minus n so therefore now you have uh, n equal to minus infinite to minus one now this is a z power minus one whole power n all right so now uh, i have limits uh, running for negative values of n let us try to make it positive okay so we started with the definition the form of anti-causal sequence so now we got uh, limits uh, like this now we will try to make things out in terms of positive limits so there is no big deal in that so for that what we do let us assume let this this quantity index say n uh, this quantity is some minus l let n equal to minus l if n is equal to minus l i want to change the limits from n to l okay so therefore i will try to find for l l is equal to minus n so if you plug in this limit here now it becomes what l equal to positive infinity right so minus of minus and this becomes what l is equal to 1 minus of uh, minus 1 so that becomes l is equal to 1 so see in discrete sense i can go from infinity to 1 this way or 1 to infinity doesn't matter end of the day we take the sum right so therefore this becomes what this minus is as it is outside the summation now l is equal to i have 1 so l is equal to 1 to infinity now you have a z power minus 1 whole power this n is equal to minus l okay so but we have the compact form uh, we have uh, compact form like this let me take another page so as of now we obtained uh, as of now we obtained say x of z okay so we obtained x of z equal to um, okay x of z equal to minus l equal to 1 to infinity so l equal to we have uh, 1 to infinity mr a z inverse 
so we have uh, a multiplied by z inverse whole power minus l okay see we have power minus l so revisiting that form again so now we are here now what i do uh, i'll try to make things out like this i have uh, this minus that is minus we have there l equal to 1 to infinity i want to make this exponent as a positive value so a uh, little modification i do this way a power minus 1 z okay a power minus 1 z all power positive l so now both are same right so a power minus 1 this is a power minus l this is a power minus 1 into l both are same so we have this way now now this power series x of z equal to we have this power series now this power series will converge yeah this will converge whenever this a inverse z becomes less than 1 so this we have to ensure in the very first run so this power series this power series will converge the power series that is in uh, geometric series form so this power series will converge when a inverse z is less than 1 that is very obvious right because see, l is equal to 1 to infinity if this quantity is not less than 1 what happens the sum will go to infinity if i take the sum of all the quantities here if this quantity is not less than 1 if this quantity is say greater than 1 then what happens i am taking sum from l equal to 1 to infinity so definitely this sum will go to infinity or this uh, power series will diverge yeah i don't want that okay so anyways i want uh, a closed form end of the day i must be able to define things yeah uh, on finite domain so therefore if this quantity is less than one this power series will definitely converge so otherwise mod z over a is less than one that means mod z is less than mod j yeah so this power series will converge if a inverse z less than one or z less than a okay so uh, this fellow will converge to what if this condition satisfies now this fellow will converge to what that we need to find now yeah so that is minus minus this minus is minus again so minus you have uh, a inverse z a inverse z power just lower limit that is 1 divided by 1 minus a inverse z okay so we have this now you know if you try to find this so what you have you have z over a in the numerator here you have 1 minus z over a okay so therefore we get minus uh, z over a divided by a minus z over a okay so we get like this so these two fellows are ruled out of race now you have minus and this is a minus so uh, this one i can make it like this now x of z x of z is z by minus into the c i can take minus common so the denominator becomes z minus a now this is uh, this is what say form 2 okay now the closed form the closed form 1 where is our closed form 1 just give me one second here yeah? see the closed form 1 x of z equal to we have z by z minus a okay and this we obtain for which sequence this we obtain for x of n is equal to a power n u of n okay so for this we obtain this z transform now for x of n is equal to minus a power n u u minus n minus 1 for x of n if it uh, we found its uh, z transform u minus n minus 1 we obtained again same z transform yes or not see that means number 2 uh, closed form 2 and closed form 1 both are same now uh, you know the ambiguity or you know uh, the doubt will start like this now the ambiguity is as follows 
or the doubt or the confusion point here is like this now for example you see if i take inverse z transform inverse z transformation of z over z minus a then which one should i get think of it if i take inverse z transformation of uh, uh, z over z minus a which one do we get now think of it just take some some uh, four to five seconds and then think now so which one do you think you will vote uh, whether you vote for causal sequence or anti causal sequence end of the day we should go for causal sequence right so please don't think like that you know uh, things are not like that you cannot vote for one sequence just like that okay so that is impossible now which one do i get z inverse of uh, z by z minus i have two closed forms same number two uh, z by z minus a and for here also we have z by z minus a so therefore now hero you know uh, hero of uh, the story z transform is mr mr harvosi yeah so he is mr hero of z transform you know he is saying yeah i'm here don't worry now this fellow is going to help us yeah only z transform only z transform cannot decide the uniqueness of time domain sequence z transform plus roc always you know that's the beauty of roc z transform plus roc yeah this combination is the best combination now they will determine so this combination will determine the uniqueness the uniqueness means what if i take z transformation of z inverse of this z transform then which the signal i must get that is what uniqueness right so determine the uniqueness of time domain sequence or time domain signal we could say yeah so this is very 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 important and useful to understand what i mean to say is this so i have uh, x of z or i have x of z like this so i have x of z as z over z minus a okay so i have like this now this is what my z transform x of z along with this if i take roc if roc is given like modulus of z greater than modulus of a now if someone is asking you find inverse z transform now can't you find this happily you can find right because you see at the time of uh, finding for this closed form for x of n equal to a power n u of n we obtain this closed form by letting this quantity less than 1 otherwise z is greater than a okay so this compact form or this closed form along with this uh, z greater than a this is nothing but reason of convergence yeah so uh, this fellow plus this fellow will definitely give this a power n u of n if you try to find its inverse z transform okay now see now uh, now really we are uh, happy because uh, we we won the race somehow right now <clears throat> similarly what i have i have x of z equal to again i again we obtain this one now if i take this roc okay so if i try to find its inverse z transform now what i get no second thought x of n equal to you will get a power n u of n and if i try to find inverse here okay inverse z transform x of n equal to minus a power n u minus n minus 1 that means whenever you have infinite duration causal sequence roc is always exterior of a circle with some radius say in this case a is pole similarly whenever you have uh, anti causal sequence or left side sequence roc is always interior of a circle with some radius a 
in this case of course a is a pole this a could be a real pole or complex pole okay doesn't matter so in general we can assume a, uh, a being complex pole so now <clears throat> so finally we have this uh, situation all right now you see now finally what could we say z transform along with roc now determined uniqueness of this now if i took its inverse i got this signal now if i took its inverse i got this sequence or signal and so therefore therefore only a z transform is not that uh, you know is not that uh, strong z transform plus roc is very important so therefore in competitive examinations you will see most of the questions with roc whenever they whenever they ask you any z transformation question somehow they will try to introduce reason of convergence in the question because the beauty is it can determine uniqueness and of course roc will also tell you anyways roc will tell you see over what region or over what or or over what space or area x of z is defined because x of z is uh, is not defined for entire space for entire complex space yeah so you know end of the day what you have to understand is this if i take now this if i take this x of z uh, this he will never try to you know occupy entire complex space yeah out of that entire complex space he will try to sit somewhere yeah he will try to occupy some finite area in that complex space so reason of convergence will will talk about that okay uh, which place you want to settle down the roc will i uh, will talk about that somehow now if you try to put this if you try to put this um, uh, in form of figure it is like this okay let me take one more space let me put it down like this so now let me go for this case x of z equal to z by z minus a or 1 by 1 minus a z inverse and roc is mod z greater than a so whenever you have infinite duration causal sequence causal sequences so finally we have this i have infinite duration causal sequence say a is less than 1 if a is less than 1 we have like this so on so 0 1 2 3 so on and this side all zero samples okay so assumed we assumed a is less than 1 in this case so therefore you have a sequence like this okay now if you try to uh, go for its reason of convergence it is like this this is complex plane as z is a complex variable so we know uh, z equal to r say e power z theta so we are expressing this z in polar form not in rectangular form so uh, z in polar form is more useful to show uh, to show the stuff on complex plane rather uh, this what is that rather this rectangular form okay so uh, of course we have a detailed lecture why do we use z transform okay they will understand everything don't worry so this is my uh, real uh, this is my real z and this is my imaginary z because z itself is complex okay so now <clears throat> i have a circle now let me take a circle i have a circle with radius a so let me take a circle with radius a i try to draw approximately a circle okay otherwise I have a circle with uh, radius a so this is my radius so radius is modulus of a okay so because why modulus of a radius of a circle uh, must be always positive yeah radius cannot be negative right so that's it so now what you have to go uh, just give me two seconds so as we have causal sequence roc must be roc must be exterior of a circle with some radius a in this case we have pole this this of course is a pole this mr a is a pole so now this is roc so i go beyond yeah 
now i cannot choose z value i cannot choose any z value within this circle now because if i try to put any z value in so in, in this case see what what i want to say is this x of z equal to you have z over z minus a that equal to 1 by 1 minus a z power minus 1 if i try to put any z value inside this quantity if i try to take any z value within this and if i try to plug in here this this fellow won't exist in this place yeah that means i can take z anywhere i can take z here i can take z here any z this any z is valid but i can't go inside now that's the meaning of reason of convergence that means x of z is defined always exterior whenever you have causal sequence this roc of this causal sequence always will be defined away okay exterior of a circle with some radius in this case a or pole mr pole is a so x of z is well defined here so this i would write like this here roc yeah not inside so inside he is undefined he is undefined and outside is defined yeah so that is for uh, that is for causal sequence infinite duration causal sequence now if i take infinite duration anti causal sequence so i have like this this is my say minus a power n u minus n minus 1 okay that means x of n is equal to minus a power n now see mathematically how can we write this one mathematically you can write down like this x of n is equal to minus a power n for n less than or equal to minus 1 yes or not because and of course this is 0 for n greater than or equal to 0 right so uh, for n less than or equal to minus 1 he is minus a power n and for n greater than or equal to 0 x of n is 0 so this is my minus 1 so minus 2 minus 3 this is my say 0 1 2 so on so now he is having life here okay this is very important to understand you take of course what we have chosen is that in this case also we have chosen modulus of a is less than 1 then only sequence will go like this now this sequence we have from minus infinite to see minus infinite to minus 1 so uh, there is a way so from minus infinite to minus 1 there is life all right so now if you take its reason of convergence if you want to observe the reason of convergence for this so unfortunately or fortunately x of z for anti-causal sequence also we have same form again we get same form so therefore but of course as we uh, though we have same form this roc is saying don't worry i am here i will i'll make things simple so we can trust reason of convergence so this is again a real part this is a imaginary part and this is a complex plane okay this is a complex plane now <clears throat> so therefore sometimes we call z transform as what a direct z transform because we are converting or we are transforming a time domain sequence to its complex representation yes or not we are trying to transform time domain sequence to its complex representation so therefore sometimes we can call a z transformation as direct z transform okay so i'll try to draw a circle again so let me let me draw a circle so i have my circle again now uh, the circle's radius is what in this case again radius is z okay that is sorry a so in this case radius is again a now okay see because if it is anti-causal sequence what roc we have roc is modulus of z less than modulus of a so this is exterior of a circle and this fellow is interior less than means you would say interior 
of a circle okay so now this fellow uh, we have roc otherwise x of z can settle within this region yeah and x of z has no roc outside this so this is my roc okay so reason of convergence is this i mean this entire stuff is my reason of convergence so outside so outside no roc yeah so outside no roc but fellow this fellow is very happy inside yeah is very happy inside that means this x of z for anti causal sequence of course we have the same form the same closed form so he will settle down inside this circle of this radius a and of course this a is pole here okay so this is uh, a brief a brief uh, discussion about z transformation of uh, infinite duration causal sequence and uh, anti causal sequence okay so whenever you have infinite duration causal sequence roc is exterior of a circle with some radius in this case say some a and whenever you have anti causal sequence like this so this is your anti causal sequence so reason of convergence is always interior of a circle with some radius a and this a in this case is a pole okay system pole so uh, this a could be real or complex in more general we can treat a as a complex pole all right so uh, we will we will try to stop here and of course uh, we have uh, roc outside and roc inside also we have uh, other story that is roc as andler region or roc within a ring so in the next class we will see that okay so uh, if i have combination of causal and anti causal uh, sequences then this is my roc okay so this would be my roc that the, that means inside this and beyond this uh, that transform is undefined so transform will be defined only within this ring this is what andler ring so this we will discuss later so we will discuss this later okay so <clears throat> otherwise we will try to uh, we will try to finish this stuff okay hit it so why later let's not postpone this to some later time let's try to finish it off now itself where is my okay for example for example you have uh, say x of n okay say for example you have x of n is equal to a power n u of n now this one you have b power n u minus n minus 1 i have a sum of causal sequence and uh, anti causal sequence now without second thought now what is roc for this with with the experience we have as of now mod z must be greater than a and no second thought this must be mod z less than b okay see of course this is plus plus i can i know uh, i know the meaning is this is not equal of course here if it is minus for example say i took like this a power n u of n minus b power n u of n yeah so i can i can write this uh, this one like this this is plus now this is minus okay so minus b power n u of n what i want to say is this x of n is equal if the question given to you is like this a power n u of n minus b power n u minus n minus 1 whether it is plus or minus uh, uh, there is no big problem in that the same thing you can write like this if the question is given like this then the same thing we can make it a standard form plus now this is what minus b power n u minus n minus 1 so this standard we have right causal and anti causal as minus b power n u of minus and minus 1 so either case we have for the same answer doesn't matter so uh, how also will not change for this or for this we got same whether i take 
ए पावर वन यू ऑफ एन प्लस बी पावर वन यू माइनस वन माइनस वन और ए पावर वन यू वन माइनस बी पावर वन यू माइनस वन माइनस वन इन इधर केस आर ओ सी विल रिमेन सेम डजेंट मैटर ओके सो दिस फैक्ट वी हैव सो नाउ वी हैव टू चूज क्लेवरली एनी वेज ऑफकोर्स हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव आर ओ सी जेड ग्रेटर देन ए एंड हियर वी हैव आर ओ सी जेड लेस देन बी ओके वेदर इट इज माइनस और प्लस डजेंट मैटर एंटी कॉजल इंटीरियर कॉजल एक्सटीरियर ओके फाइन नाउ हाउ टू डू दिस नाउ हाउ टू हाउ टू गो फॉर इट्स आर ओ सी दिस इज रियल सेट एंड दिस इज माई से imaginary set. Okay. Now let me uh, let me put it down. Let me take. Okay. Say so for if I assume if I uh, assume like this assume assume for now. Um, what do we assume now? Uh, okay. We'll assume like this. We'll assume B is less than Y. Okay, if I assume this is pole B and this is pole A, if B okay, let me take B like this. Now this is my say B, and I have a real pole as we have positive B, positive A we are taking now. So we have uh, towards like this. So B less than A we can so this way. Now we draw a circle passing through this pole B. So let me draw a circle directly. So draw a circle. passing through this pole b okay now draw one more circle passing through this pole a all right now according to this uh, reason of convergence what we obtained so far is this so modulus of z less than b see if i assume if i assume b less than a we have this scenario this is b and this is a okay so pole b pole a this is pole b this is pole a so modulus of z less than b so this is my roc so my reason of convergence is this okay now this one is what modulus of z greater than a so my reason of convergence is beyond now do you think uh, which one do you think is correct i have this is case 1 so this is my case 1 let me go for case 2 let me go for uh, case 2 so again i have a complex plane or my jet plane jet is a complex quantity so okay now this is case 1 okay now case 2 we take like this let us assume case 2 is this now assume now uh, b is greater than a If I assume uh, that this uh, this pole is greater than when I mean pole B is greater than pole A, so now in that case what I can do is this. So let me take um, pole A here now. Let me take pole B like this. Okay. So as uh, these are positive quantities, I am taking towards right side. Otherwise, a radius radius must be always positive anyway. No problem. so uh, let me draw a circle passing through this horizon okay and let me draw one more circle pass i mean pass uh, let me, we drew a circle passing through this pole a uh, let us draw one more circle passing through this pole b okay somehow uh, i approximately try to draw a circle this is b and this is a now what happens you see now Of course, this values will not change, right? So I have mod z greater than y. So mod z greater than y. So I would go like this. So mod z greater than y. So I would go like this, right? So this is my mod z greater than y. Okay, I'm going up to infinity like that. But uh, what we have is modulus of z less than b. So we have modulus of z less than b. So modulus of z less than b means where can I go? So uh, b is here. This is my b circle, right? So this is my b circle, anyways. So less than b. So less than b means I would go like this. 
this is my modulus of z less than b but hold on just hold uh, a second now you see now where do you think uh, where do you think uh, is your uh, reason of convergence yeah i think i made things mess but you see we have to take the common overlapping area we have to always consider common overlapping area yeah so roc will settle down here happily roc will settle down in the common overlapping area so the common overlapping area is this fellow so this is my common overlapping area so roc is defined like this okay now which one do you think is correct case 1 or case 2 obviously case 2 this is you know uh, your fellow is trying like this so for this fellow must try yeah his eye is somewhere here he's he's weeping like anything but in this case uh, he is very happy now he is very happy you know why because you see here individually he is working modulus of z less than b and modulus of z greater than a but b is less than a then in this case only he is working individually and this fellow is working again individually z greater than a but thing is that uh, when you put down a combination like this always we should see this way see simultaneously both must be defined in whatever area within a complex plane in whatever area if these two are simultaneously working yeah and that is the correct area or that is the required area we are looking for whatever area now this fellow is working individually this fellow is working individually so there is no connection between these two now so therefore you know uh, this one is invalid so b greater than a we have this case this is invalid so whenever we have some combination like this causal anti causal kind of stuff always we have to go for overlapping area always yeah always we have to go for overlapping area because now in this region simultaneously both are defined Simulta the word simultaneously is important therefore we are uh, taking this overlapping region of course see uh, for two causal sequences also we take uh, if i have combination of two causal sequences there also we take of course overlapping area for example you have a situation like this mod z greater than a for example i have mod z greater than b okay see both are causal if suppose if i have like this and now say uh, say in this case this is my say a and this is my b so mod z greater than a so i go like this and mod z greater than b okay so mod z greater than b then i go like this beyond okay now which one do you think is correct so uh, which one uh, who will win the race mod z greater than a or mod z greater than b of course mod z greater than because see i have both uh, red lines and blue lines here in the region but here i am finding only blue lines here of course nothing so i require overlapping area in every time okay so in this case this is my overlapping area outside so mod z greater than b i have common overlapping area so every time we have to go for the intersection region so in this case this is called as annular ring this is called as annular annular region or this is annular ring okay so in this annular ring so simultaneously both are defined always we have whenever you are grouping things like this you have to see a place where simultaneously they work each other where uh, where uh, simultaneously they are defined so therefore uh, this is highly important to understand everywhere uh, we see only these two things uh, okay uh, we have to decide between these two every time but you have to understand things also uh, you know physically so you are, always we have to gain physical insights of a topic okay if someone is asking you why why are you going for this annular region uh, then the very first answer must be in that region these two fellows will work simultaneously okay so there exists good cooperation 
between these two fellows in this region that must be yeah because end of the day you, you can form a system you can form a system so things must work fine within the system so therefore <coughs> therefore this is this is required for us to understand in detail okay so uh, in the other video you will see uh, in the other video what you see is that in the other video we see uh, i mean the significance of jet transform why jet transform yeah why jet transform we say um, uh, most of us will think this way of course we have laplace transform the discrete time counterpart to laplace transform is a jet transform of course it is it is very correct uh, but but anyways you have to understand why jet transform why jet transform is very very important this is the more general form this is the more general series so everything is here yeah why z transform why the variable z this fellow is very very important fellow yeah so the flexibility of z we will try to appreciate in the next video okay why z transform i have because i have a discrete time sequence x of n i can go for dtft right I can go for discrete time Fourier transformation, then I can go for DTFT. So already we have this transformation for X of n. Then why, uh, if I have uh, DTFT, then why should I go for X of z? Yeah, that means there are some limitations with DTFT. So those limitations can be overcome in uh, z transform. And using, of course, if I know z transform. Definitely, I can design my systems conveniently. Yeah, these Laplace and Jet transforms, they are highly useful to design system conveniently. Yeah, whether it is a finite duration stuff or infinite duration stuff, doesn't matter. I can design my systems conveniently. That's the beauty we have. Yeah. So, uh, this, uh, this stuff we will try to, um, we will investigate in uh, with great detail in our subsequent lectures so we will definitely appreciate uh, why uh, i mean how this jet transform is more useful in designing discrete time systems especially in designing linear constant coefficient difference equation based systems yeah so first of all coefficients we have to see to that they are constants they they, they, they should be time independent if, we, if you take time dependent kind of stuff, we have to leave this conventional study and we have to invite adaptive systems. Okay, so uh, anyways, we will also, also we have lecture series on adaptive design. Okay, so clever tuning. So we have to train uh, filter coefficients uh, as per the requirement. So yeah, so that is really great. So you have uh, LMS algorithm and the recursive kind of uh, algorithms we have in that so we will discuss those things in again great detail so end of the day you should be able to design system on your own yeah so then things uh, will work out fine so that's it for today so that's it for today and i think uh, we ended things up here okay so i'm signing off now so thank you very much for your patience and please do subscribe and and please share your thoughts in the comment section below okay so that's it swasti